Hello, I'm Mike and he's Matt and we're going to do another in the thrilling What's in My Tote series where we look at totes of random stuff that I have and just go through it and see what we find. This is stuff that I've been collecting for, um, here's the tote. This is stuff that I've been collecting just for about 30, 40 years. And as I move, um, over the years when I move, I'll just, you know, keep the stuff in totes, generally not really look at anything, but I until like Until now. Until now. Yes. Yes. So this one. You guys are in for a treat. I know. I can't wait. Can you not unlock that thing? There it is. The white tops are always harder to open. That's what she said. Dude, do you need some help? <laughs> Oh this God. one has oh been God. sealed for so by the military. Years. Yes. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm alright. Okay. It's just a little blood. All right. So, that's, oh, I left my glasses in the. <laughs> you might want those. We're gonna pause. We're back now that we got the tote opened. Uh, this is a CDR of the Ticket Compound from 2006. It's a radio station. It's a long story. If you know, you know. If you don't, you know. All right. This is a 2006 schedule for the Seattle Mariners baseball team featuring Ichiro Suzuki on the front. He was their big player for the first part of the 2000s. So there's a baseball schedule. I probably picked that up in Seattle when I went there back in 06. This is a videotape that has, oh, my cousins Heather and Kelly, Christmas 1971 to March 1976. So this is a really long tape. Um, so maybe at one point uh says the same thing there. But on the side, <clears throat> I need to look at this actually and probably... I'm guessing it might be film to videotape transfer or something like that. I would assume 8mm, yeah. Yeah. This is an audio tape of a uh, trivia show that was on July 16th, sometime in the early 2000s. This was probably the trivia show that would come on KRLD, <clears throat> early 2000s. 1080. 1080. Um, oh, what was the name of that guy? Real big radio guy back then. Brute, no. Maybe I'll think of it later. Here is a <clears throat> notepad from the Sandman Hotel. This was in Vancouver. Hmm. I got this on a trip to Canada. Uh, this is a uh, Texas <clears throat> Homeowner's Policy Form A from Farmers Insurance, which I got at, at some point. This is a this is a notepad from Gulliver's Bookstore in Fairbanks, Alaska. When I went there several years ago. Here's a micro SD card that probably has a bunch of radio recordings on it from the ticket. Uh, Thirteen ten a.m. in Dallas. Now, was there like some sort of I don't know radio? device you put this inside of to get the recordings onto this disc? That's an excellent question, and Matt, thank you. Thank you for the question. <clears throat> so next we have these DV... Oh, um, so, yes, I had a device called Radio Your Way, which um, you could put an SD card in and set it to record. And those cards can record, like... Yeah, I mean, these are, like... 60 hours of, of content. So there might be like the gigabytes on that. Yeah. So there might be like six, eight gigabytes. Eight gigs. So there might I have several of those. And just full of radio recordings. So I don't know. If I die unexpectedly in the next few years, just contact the radio station, the ticket, and see if anyone's interested in, in old audio. So the next thing that we have is this um, this thing of of oh. 
it's this thing of uh oh okay so yeah this is a blockbuster thing that uh this is from the uh, old blockbuster mail service kind of like netflix netflix <laughs> kind of like netflix and netflix netflix <laughs> yes this uh and let's see what's in here <clears throat> no just kidding no this is uh we have a copy of let's make a deal from 1964 uh and a game show called Play for Keeps, and we've got a copy of Double Dare and Tattletales. Double Dare, the old game show with Alex Trebek from the 70s, not the one on, oh, that was on right. Nickelodeon, yeah. yeah. This is another, um, these are old game shows recorded on, like, I think Game Show Network. It's About Time, no, It's About Time was a, um, was a sitcom. Uh, with Pat Carty, uh, which was on in the late 60s. TKO and On a Roll are game shows, I think. Star Wars, Body Talk, and Beat the Clock. What was Star Wars? Um, kind of like a game where you had to figure out words and it had stars. Oh. Uh. Like Nipsey Russell and Charles Nelson Riley and that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. And this is a copy of Cannibal Girl. Because for some reason I never mailed it back. To That's why they went out of business. Thanks, you know, Mike. You know what it was? This didn't work, and I think that they just, in their well, way, it's cracked. It's cracked. So <clears throat> I think the option you had was to either mail it back or just keep it, because I reported it as damaged. Yeah. But they never really insisted that I send it back. By then they were already. Late. But I think it works because I think I tried it and it works. I think. I don't know. Yeah. Here is a uh, Texas personal auto policy, 14th edition. Um, yeah, there's that. Here is, that's an old checkbook. Here is an envelope. Here are some, ooh, I need to throw these away because these are all, these are used. These are, no, they're, these are Hello Kitty batteries, oh. but one of them has been, <clears throat> Uh, what's it called when batteries uh, they just kind of they, they corroded they corrode and they leak I'm gonna set that to the side so we so we throw it away uh, here's more audio tapes uh, this is kind of interesting it's an audio tape from the UK BBC manufactured their own audio tapes so here's one of those here is another ticket stock CD from 2006 I just recorded stuff off of the radio and just burned it to, to CDs. Here's a postcard from New Mexico, the land of enchantment. One of the things I used to do on road trips, and kind of still do, is just collect uh, postcards as souvenirs. Here is, oh, this this will be a fun story. Um, remember this so you can tell your uh, families at holidays. So there used to be, uh, and there still is, a Dallas Cowboys weekly radio program hosted by Brad Sham, the voice of the Dallas Cowboys on the radio. And I went to a taping of an episode at Home Depot in Irving, hmm. uh, behind, uh, kind of on Irving Boulevard. Yeah. And I was like, I'd like to have a signature. I'd like to have his Brad Sham's autograph, <clears throat> and I guess the autograph of the, the Dallas Cowboy who was on the show, whose name was Dat Wynn. And so I'm like, well, I don't have any paper, but maybe they'll sign a tile, a floor tile, bathroom tile. So they did. There's Brad Sham and Dad Wynn's autograph on a floor tile purchased at Home Depot. How did they react to you giving them the tile? They didn't. I don't think they really wow. thought it was weird at all. Okay. Just, yeah. So I don't know. We should frame that or put it in the bathroom. No. Just Face down. Yeah. <laughs> Here is speaking of tile. I have a laser disc of Breaking, Breaking in, in by William Forsythe, Forsythe, starring or Burt Forsyth. Reynolds and Casey Siamasco. I've never been sure how to pronounce that either. 
And this this laser disc was apparently a blockbuster video. Wow. Nice. Previously viewed. In Irving, Texas. Do you have a laser disc? Which is nowhere near us. We are like not anywhere near this address. Where was it? Come and kill us. Oh, okay. Um, and it's superb and Reynolds is in top ch funny charming form. I've never seen that movie. However, I, I, I purchased the Blu-ray <laughs> recently and I haven't watched it, but I've always heard it's great. And Siskel and Ebert really raved about it also. Did they? Have you seen it? Well, I mean, he did Gregory's Girl and Gregory's and Local Girl is Hero. fantastic. You saw Local Hero. And Heroes. Local Hero is fantastic as well. That's a fantastic movie. And this has a commentary by Bill Forsyth. Does a laser disc have commentary? No. Okay. Um, so yeah. Breaking in. So if you guys have never seen a laser disc, this is what it looks like. I've never seen a laser it smells disc. Smells fantastic. Will you show me? It's really thick. That's what she said. I want you to show me. Image Image Entertainment released this, and wow. hey, you can see you can see Roz there. Yeah. You can see the camera. And this is, okay, so you actually had, well, maybe you didn't have to, but it's two-sided. So the thing is, if you didn't have the right player, you'd have to put this in, watch half the movie, take it out, flip it to watch the other half. Or you had a player that could just play both sides without having to take it out. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Loser. <laughs> this is going to take me a while. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> it's never what he said, though. Oh, no, no, it's never. <laughs> oh, oh man! Speaking of that, here's a trash bag. That's just randomly in here for some reason. Makes total sense. Yes. Here is a piece of paper that has my friend Ken and Debbie's. Uh, phone numbers and okay. <laughs> I mean, it's good to have. I mean, but still I still wanted to show it to the world. No, I, I know, I, I know. This is a TV guide from 1963, uh, a, a permanent record of what we watched on television from November 22nd to the 25th, 1963. <clears throat> oh, well. That's the time, yeah, JFK was, was killed. Okay, it's from the week of January 25th through the 31st, 1964, but it also apparently has in it, I'm going to go ahead and open it, because I think I have already in, before anyway I opened this up to look at this old TV guide, which is from 1964. Wow. There's, uh, there's that. This isn't as rare as I thought, because I've seen this particular TV guide several places. Okay. Uh, this one is from... It's not from Dallas, because I don't recognize the TV station. Oh, guess what? It's from Dallas. Um, they had a Channel 12? Yes. No. Oh, that's... Did they have cable? Oh, okay. It, so why... Well, it has, it has listings for Dallas, Wichita Falls, Ardmore, Sherman, Denison, um, and Lawton, Oklahoma. Okay. So this edition might have been purchased in... Wichita Falls, maybe? I don't know. But it has uh, Channel 4, 8, and 13, Channel 5, and 11, because, of course, those are the only ones that were uh, around back in 1964. So, anyway, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah. All right. Put this back in the thing. And okay. All right. Thank you. This next thing, a collectible keepsake oh, of Titanic. These went in there. These were the 3D glasses that came when Titanic was re-released, uh, like in 2008. It originally came out in 98 or 97. So these were the 3D glasses. 2012. That, 2012. <clears throat> okay, I guess it was the 15th anniversary. Yeah. So these were the 3D glasses that came, that you got when you saw uh, Titanic when it was re-released. This is just a little piece of paper that has my uh, apartment information for when I lived in Louisville. Here are some Kroger coupons from 2015. Some more Kroger coupons. 
an old farmer's insurance policy, homeowner's insurance policy, and IRS stuff from, thank you for making arrangements to pay, okay. Uh, this is, I never opened this thing from the Louisville, Louisville Bats. I think these were tickets to a game that I never went to, Louisville Bats, minor league baseball team. Uh, something from, a bill from U.S. Anesthesia Partners uh, from several years ago. More Kroger coupons. Oh, these, oh, yeah, okay. So I wanted to keep a bunch of, like, COVID stuff because mm -hmm. I figured, well, this is a really interesting time in, in history. So this is uh, President Trump's Coronavirus Guidelines for America. Basically, it's just CDC recommendations. Mm -hmm. That came in the mail, I think. Uh, here's a condom. Uh, that's for later. Uh, here's a checkbook that we don't need. And two checkbooks we don't need. A Caramar and old um, insurance card. I guess I had them sign two floor tiles. Oh, because they signed the glossy side. Oh, yeah. That doesn't work, guys. We're going to have to do it the other That's way. That's probably what. Okay. <clears throat> they, at least they did it twice. I though. can't imagine a situation, though, where, like, two. There's, like, this radio show was in commercial, and they try to sign that, and then they, they they take the time to say, you know what, I don't think the autographs are really going to show up well. Why don't you go buy yourself another tile? And I don't, I just don't, I don't. Could you have bought two tiles at once? Probably, yeah. Maybe I was like, can you sign? You foresaw that, and you were like, oh, you I guess. They, they might, maybe they'll sign the wrong side. <laughs> this is just another old insurance policy. Insurance stuff. Uh, insurance crap. We're going to get to interesting things, I think. This is another set of 3D glasses. There's nothing special about this one, I don't think. I think it's just the standard 3D glasses that you got when you went to go see a 3D movie. The real 3D. The real 3D. That's just what they called it back then. These are some old stamps, U.S. stamps. Uh, I don't remember where I got these, but this is just a baggie full of... Oh, they're not just... Okay, there's some stamps from Japan also. A Japanese stamp. Uh, Poland, a stamp from Poland as well. Uh, these are all from Japan as well. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I won't go through all these. But Japan had interesting looking stamps in the 60s and 70s, I think. They just were kind of distinct looking. Here's a coupon for a free medium fries and drink <clears throat> on your next purchase at McDonald's. Advertising the buttermilk crispy chicken sandwich. This is from Gary Fitzsimmons, District Court, Dallas County. I think this is when I got money. Laura and I got money from when my old friend Daniel, his friend from the UK, came to visit and uh, his friend rented a car and we ended up in a car wreck <clears throat> and the lawyer determined that it was the other person's fault and we got some money out of it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Pretty sure that's what this 2014. That sounds about right. No, this is Laura Dun Dunmore versus Michael Harris, so that has to do with a divorce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a stuff from my eye doctor when I had cataracts. It's a contact lens prescription. I don't know. I never got contacts from him. This is a 2020 uh, platform survey and membership acceptance Trump Pence card thing, which I just like I said. I mean, it doesn't. I don't care what political leaning it is. I, it was interesting. It was an interesting time. Uh, would you like to be contacted about volunteering at your local Trump Victory Office this year? And some of these are already. Uh, anyway, some history. 
This is a, oh, I've been kind of looking for this. This is a tape of, remember the Glenn Mitchell show that used to come on at KERA FM? It was like mm -hmm. a talk show. It was a really good talk show hosted by Glenn Mitchell. He since has passed. But uh, this episode, it talks about uh, black movies, as I wrote on the thing, and Michael York apparently was a guest on. Okay. I think I'm going to keep this aside and record that. Oh my gosh. This is a uh, thing that Laura wrote, Proton H2O. I don't know. All right, there's that. And this is an old watch that I had. Here's a roll of quarters, <laughs> which, oh, these are Texas state quarters. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Another audio tape, I don't know what's on there. Uh, same here. This is a, welcome to the ticket, great game. This is a softball game that was played with ticket personalities. It has uh, the show hosts who played in the game. This was for charity. I think this was at in Grand Prairie. Dr. Pepper Bowl. No, this was in Frisco, where the Frisco minor league team plays the Rough Riders. This is an old weather radio from Realistic. Uh, if you had any grandparents who were around in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, they probably had a weather radio. Not, not, pretty, not necessarily like this, but they came in all different shapes. And sizes. And sizes. Here's a baggie full of old credit cards. Um, yeah. They're not all credit cards. I think there's like some, um, I don't know, old membership cards. Like here's, oh, it's my Irving, uh, Irving Parks and Rec card from when I used to go use the treadmill at the rec center. Uh, there's too many of these to go through in this. But there's that. Stimulus. <clears throat> Stimulus check information. All right, there's that. A pair of scissors. A pen in the shape of a syringe. Sea World something or other. Oh, this thing you can look through it and you can see a, a photograph. You can see a picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, this is kind of an, I don't know, can, you can't see the photograph in the, I don't think. The lens is here. Oh, there's a head. There's Laura. There's you. Yeah. That's interesting. It's from <clears throat> SeaWorld, the one in San Diego. Uh, another tape some more of these SD cards and this is a D triple CD 50 years 50 years of existence pin a chip clip from heart interactive whatever that is Intercivic, not interactive, intercivic. Still, whatever that is. I think there's another pair of 3D glasses. <clears throat> Various pens. Mm. And there was something that interesting that I was going to do with. Where did I put it? This is a <clears throat> little magnifying glass thing. So you can 
is a magnifier. It belonged to one of my relatives, I think, but I don't remember where I got it. I think it came from a relative. And well, here's something I just had my, I was going to show that, oh, here we go. Okay. So apparently there was this company that, that, um, you know, um, grew onions and the logo they used is uh, probably familiar if you're a fan of basketball. That is the uh, Boston Celtics logo on a uh, the label from a bag of onions from this company. I got I found this in the late 90s, early 2000s, but I thought it was weird um, that they have like the Boston Celtics logo. This hmm. is the exact logo. This guy. Um, <laughs> holding an onion, not a basketball. In the logo, he's holding a basketball. But in this one, he's holding, he's got the cane, the whole thing. That's, that's interesting. That's, yeah. And the rest of this, we don't really have to go through. I mean, it's going to be long and tedious. It's just more business cards, more pens, more pencils. Here's a NASA, um, one of these things that you put your, your badge on at work. Um... This is, I used, it's an, it's an FM transmitter. I think you plug this into like your radio, not your car radio, but like if you had like a portable radio, you could plug this into it and then transmit it to your car radio. That sounds like a hassle. It, it, yeah, it wasn't that great. I, yeah, I'm like, okay. Yeah, the rest is just pencils and old, keys and stuff that's not really that compelling. Uh, my trailer dock and release thing from Amazon. Mm. Uh, that just means that I was trained to make sure that trucks were properly attached to the building. And a NASA Space Center in Houston pencil. All right. Well, that's all for this one. Here's Nixie. All right. Bye.